Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee was founded in 1980, and we're wholly a civil rights organization dedicated to protecting the civil rights and civil liberties of Arab Americans and communities of color in the United States. Now, since 2011, the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee has worked largely both in legislation as well as in advocacy efforts to ensure that our government has restraints and adequate restraints on civil rights and civil liberty protections, meaning that is the actual oversight, that there's required reporting, that there's required training, that there are non-discrimination clauses. And this is crucial because in decades preceding before 9-11, and before our Americans became under a microscope, there was active efforts to censor content and speech for those who were politically oppressed, to silence. We've always gone after communities of color, whether they were African American, whether they were Hispanic, whether they were Japanese, and intended to silence that oppression. And so when we get to the CVE context, this is extremely alarming because we see that future in which political speech that the government does not like or does not agree with being flagged and removed. Our position has always been that the best counter to hate speech or violent speech is more speech. You never take away speech because let's give an example on Facebook. At least if someone says something hateful, there's a dialogue, there's a back and forth. Someone can question that. They can make that person think about it. If we remove that speech in itself, what it actually does is send that person into the deep web, which are the real issues and threats we're concerned about when we think about ISIS and things of that nature. And now they're on these hate sites where there is no countering view. There is no opposition. And that's what really fuels people. They're getting that little nudge, like, yeah, we should do, because we all agree together to do this. Um, so that's concerning. 